And you see uh, Hollis sporting his winning agenda podcast. Oh, yeah. Um, play Matt there. Shout uh, out to those guys. Big fan of their podcast. Yeah, and they had Hollis on a few weeks ago. I hope he goes back and watches this video. He, he hates when we bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And starting off with a draw, I think everybody likes their hands. Uh, oh, whoa. Those are some neat new tokens over there yeah, from uh, Win. Any, any uh, clue where those are from, Aaron? I have not seen those before. We'll have to ask him once we get, uh, yeah, we'll get, get to the interview, interview yeah. section. Yeah. All right, Hollis Ice is up HQ and starts a remote early. Yeah, Wizard seems like a great uh, one in this matchup. I mean, all of those remote checks, most of the time you're going to be finding something you can trash for free. And that's why I love Wizard yep. right now. With NEH being all these taxing IDs and RP having tons of, uh, you know, Sundus, medical research centers. Love it. Yeah, so Hollis looking to get uh, at least central secured first, I'm sure, to uh, to make the uh, the face plant or the check so that uh, so that Wen can't go just trash the uh, the mental health clinic. And going with Cotty, data sucker in hand, Plascretes, plays out of cyber feeder. Yeah, this is a very interesting uh, wizard list. I mean, honestly, I'd call it kind of a rig wizard list in that lots of breakers in here. Uh, there's some viruses, but uh, a lot of programs in this list, so we'll see how it stacks up against RP. Yeah, We've I got mean, a celebrity gift showing the hand. No no agendas there, but uh, definitely the Sundu he's going to want to trash and some assets. And oh, he will. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Wizard. wizard, wizard uh, he will. Wizard's licking his chops over that hand. You just made him angrier. Yeah. <laughs> Plays another sure gamble. And let's see, looking up here. Yeah, Maybe cyber another feeder. cyber feeder? Cyber feeder's not one we see. I mean, I know Pacer. Uh, he plays it in his noise list, uh, which you can understand given that all he's doing is installing viruses most of right. the game. But uh, you don't see it a lot outside just for, you know, normal icebreaker. But it's a, it's a great cheap card still. Oh, I play it. Most of the time when I play it, I just immediately put it underneath Darwin to remind myself to yeah, use it every right? turn to pump him. The whale needs to be fed. Or just have his head jacked into. Yeah. Oh, okay. We are hearing from our uh, chat people that I, I guess he made these tokens. Wow. Um, I'm not sure if he laser cuts or if he owns the shop and does he, these. Uh, can make us some yeah, more on we'll demand. Yeah, we asking for these. These look hot. Add these to our uh, SMC yeah, list right? of prizes, right? All right, so the data suckers are coming out, and uh, you know I know I can see there's parasites, and we've got deja vu's in his list. So, I mean, you can get those data suckers charged up, and then once Hollis actually starts resing ice, I mean, if it's kind of your normal uh, RP suite of surugis and pups and whatnot, I mean, he's going to be able to chew through this pretty quickly. Although not a lot of runs right now. Like, he's not making yeah. Hollis res the ice. And so even if you as Wizard can kind of keep him broke normally, right, like he's already up at 19 credits. Um, and that's kind of the one downside, yeah. I think, in this match is even if you manage to break them and keep them broke, as soon as that celebrity gift hits, suddenly you're just like, really, all this work I did. Yeah, exactly. But if you're not keeping him broke, I mean, he needs to be running, getting him to res that ice so that he doesn't have the fives to pay off the hedge funds. Here's the gift again. Yeah, and I mean, this is another hand where this is Hollis is drawing these at the right time because you're showing him something that, you know, maybe he wants to go trash the ash so he doesn't have to deal with it later. But the reality of it is, I mean, that hand's not exciting enough to go through two ice and then probably meet a Caprice at the end of it. I mean, I wouldn't get uh, go after that hand with any kind of urgency, but Hollis is just getting a boatload of credits and is going to be ready for the long game. I'd be excited to make him res a Caprice on HQ because then he can't res it somewhere else. It's true, <laughs> very true. All right, and now we're seeing some breakers. We got an Atman sitting in his hand. Um, he's going to come out and sit it at four, I guess. I mean, he has, well, he might want to sit it at two now. I mean, he has data sucker counters he can use to pull it back down. Um, it's always the most difficult part with these rig decks that depend on data suckers. I mean, he's always got to be cautious of the clear to make sure that uh, he doesn't get locked out of server so he can't run centrals without either taking a bunch of damage or just straight up not being able to get through. Yeah, on the upside, though, most of uh, RP's ice is that two-strength, yeah. three-strength, one-strength stuff. 
and I imagine this is probably a crick on archives, and so it, it you know, worst case scenario, it's annoying to be able to give uh, the corp a, a free card, but if you had to absolutely get through it to get data sucker counters, you'd be willing to do it. Stocking up on Cotty over there. Um, what's he sitting at? Uh, looks like three credits. Are, are his credits in the middle of his board, or are those at the top? Yeah, oh, I think his it's memory units at the top, yeah. so I think his credits are actually in the front there, so yep. I think he's sitting at three right now. Um, plus the 15 on Cotty. Katie's loaded. It's interesting. I, I'm surprised Hollis hasn't tried to get the Sundew online yet. I mean, there's no, no breakers out. There's no central that's really safe to run, or at least uh, Wen doesn't look like he's willing to run it yet, so I'm kind of waiting for that Sundew to get online. But then again, Hollis doesn't exactly hurting for money right now. I mean, I would almost put the Sundew out as Hollis just to make him run yeah. that remote and make him run the central no, because you're still in techie. You still have damaging ice, but right now you're letting him pick and choose what he wants to install. He has a handful of cards. You're not threatening him at all, yeah. and he's going to get this big rig set up. Um, now, of course, Hollis may not be thinking it's a big rig. God knows he has no clue what kind of wow. wizard anybody's playing because no one plays wizard. I'm at a zero. Interesting. Okay, this is like uh, the uh, Shaper Ottman decks of old where you're yeah. trying to protect from Roto Turret and Data Sucker it down. This is Seriously, all these decks we've seen today are like throwback, throwback. to 2014, I love it. 2013 Netrunner. It's what we do in Atlanta, I guess. <laughs> we actually don't evolve with the time. Yeah. We, just, we just keep playing the same stuff. We're either thousands of years in the future on the meta or a year behind. And here comes the Parasite. And I think those data suckers still only have one counter on them, yep. so he's not really uh, under threat just yet. But I mean, I the fact that one run into archives, he has two more data sucker tokens and immediately blows yeah. up a toll booth is kind of intimidating. And that's another thing about Wizard's ability. I mean, he can let Hollis uh, use Crick and let it fire, but the reality of it is he might use it to put back in ice, but he just might be putting in an asset, and Wizard goes and trashes it for free. Sure, so it probably doesn't hurt him quite as bad uh, as every other runner in the game. It just becomes action tax. Yeah. Um, and now Hollis purged on his last turn. Um, looks like Wynn is trying to just rebuild there. He's got yeah. mem strips and... I wonder whether or not you just go on the triple data sucker and Ottman plan, and you one run it just YOLO gets it. you through. Yeah, it gets you through three strength ice or less, I and mean, it's it's not a horrible plan. Puts out Armitage. Most cards I like. It doesn't see a lot of play, yeah. not as much as it used to, but it's still a you know one cost. It's good early game to get that economy revving early. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to play KD, I mean, KD, you can only click once a turn, so it's something to do on those off clicks where you just need to charge back up. Sorry, Damon, I hope you're not watching this. I refuse to conform. You, you're, you're the good citizen, Randall. Cody, darn it. <laughs> Get a real name, KD Jones. Get a real name. All right, let's see where we're at now. I think it's Hollis' turn. Just drew. He's trying to figure out how to keep R&D safe, given that his uh, toll boots is... Probably knocking on death's door here in a couple of turns. Because we know he's got some agendas in hand. I mean, he's got what looks to be a, a decent scoring server, at least potentially set up. Got plenty of money. So at what point does he start uh, jamming out agendas? And to your point, I mean, forcing when to either react or run or do something. Yeah, all you're doing is giving him time. And at the beginning of the game, like I said, he may not know it's a big rig uh, wizard deck because no one plays wizard. Sure. But at this point, you've got to suspect that he's trying to play down as many cards as he can, and you're just giving him time. Yeah, when you, I think when you see Mem Strips hit the table, you know he's in for the long haul as well. I mean, this is... Although uh, now I kind of wonder if he's not searching for, a, for an Overmind somewhere. Does he have Overmind in this deck? Oh, well, let's have a look. No. No? Okay. He just has a ton of things he wants to install, He's I guess. He's got double Ottman and then two of Corroder, Mimic, and Yogg. I guess that's his economy. This wizard deck is, is impressive. I kind of <laughs> like want to see where it's going. I'm kind of excited to, to see the back end of this game. I mean, I think once he gets charged up, I mean, he's got he hasn't used any deja vus yet, so assuming he gets more parasites out there... Most replicating lists, and I think Hollis's is no uh, no exception to that, they play 17 ice. And if you're going to be able to neutralize all the key ice, granted he has Crick, and that might hurt him uh, if uh, if Wen can't figure out a way to deal with that. But, uh, you know, Parasite's still a good card. You hear that world? Parasite's still good. 
Atlanta Meta declares it. All right, so now Hollis looks like he's going to put him to the test and make him uh, react and make him run. We see the uh, the second Ottman enter the hand. Now you kind of wonder, he plays this uh, card down and he advances it twice. Is he trying to signal that that's uh, future perfect, hoping that maybe uh, Wynn won't run at it? Because if he puts it down and advances once, right? So yeah. Wynn is thinking maybe that's a Nisi and he can't really let him have it, but maybe he's putting it down and advancing it twice. So the wind does not think it's a Nisi and you know will be a little yeah. less likely to run it. I know I was talking to Hollis before this round, and I know he likes just uh, you know trying to install advance advance when possible. To your point, just to kind of throw him off to say, hey, you're going to get the same look no matter what agenda this ends up being. And the other side of that is if he wants to score it next turn, he has two clicks to score a 4-2, and then he still has a turn to react to whatever yep. the runner did, or click rather to react. All right, and followed your advice and played the Sundew in the open and just said, come get it. Now, the Lotus Field is going to present a, a server where it's not going to do any damage to win or really deter him from trying to bounce off the Lotus Field and just trying to go at a remote. So I don't know if Hollis is maybe you know, waiting to draw the crick later and then install that over top. I mean, that would be a pretty bad server. And look at the back of his little uh, repeating credits. He has this little... A symbol on I I like Sorry, it. I'm, I'm still mesmerized by, yeah. his, by his credits here. So now he has an admin at four, an admin at zero. Data suckers, money. I mean, we have the clone ship in play. I mean, I think he just may be building up to this point where he runs, has parasite protection against anything he runs into, and, and just tries to just destroy the whole rig or destroy the whole uh, ice. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm kind of looking over here seeing if I can find out if he's about to start hammering R&D, if he has maybe interfaced or something. It doesn't look like he does. Because um, a lot of times you'll see these ice destruction decks where they, they don't have enough destruction to destroy everything on the board, yeah. but they can pick one server and cripple it. Uh, so sometimes, you know, with these Parasite decks, they'll just focus on R&D, cripple everything they put down there, yep. and just keep running. Yeah, because we see medium in the list, and I, to your point, I mean, he may just focus fire on R and D, and then a turn where you know Hollis is res ice elsewhere. I mean, just absolutely steamroll R and D, and that becomes tough. So we see a scored future perfect. And I think that's the end of that toll booth. Yeah, it's always the toughest decision. That's what I love so much about Parasite. It just kind of creeps up on you, and you every turn you just keep staring at it, and you've got to make the decision of, oh, I can I protect this toll booth? Uh, you know, do I even uh, do I even bother to try and wipe virus counters knowing that he's got data suckers? And I, it's just it's a fun car that presents a lot of tough choices. And now he has a Parasite in clone archives. Ship. He has a clone chip. He has five data sucker counters. Even when he clears them he has a four strength admin oh, to push medium just came field. in hand this oh, could yeah, get ugly things about quick. to go down medium is one of those cards where i mean it's been there since the core set and it's but still it good. demands an answer <laughs> if you let medium digs keep going i mean you cannot you either have to put an ice in front of r d that can hold up a turn or the game is over so hollis responding Realizes appropriately that. there we go and now as a wizard player myself, I am very disappointed that that Sundew and that <laughs> mental health clinic are both still there. Why are assets still on the board? It's unacceptable. <laughs> maybe he's just going to try to trash them off of R&D. Maybe that's what he's doing with that wizards. So he it. hits two and three at a time, trashes one, gets yep. some new guards. But, I mean, Hollis has the wall set up now. What, every server is double iced. He's got to start pushing through points here. Now I'm just curious to see what ice he actually installed. When yeah, let's see if five uh, data sucker counts to uh, uh, Pup. It doesn't matter how many data sucker counts yeah, you have. Pup is still not going to hold up forever. I mean, is it worth popping a, a clone chip to parasite know. that pup? I'd probably see what the back card is first. I mean, you know, people like Ahmed, like Ahmed refuses to yeah. pay through a pop-up. Oh, pop oh, this oh, hurts. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. Going to go right back, I assume. And this is the thing about these Anarch decks. You, like you said, Randall, you pick your spot, and you if you can hit it. it hard enough, they corp, if they don't have enough ice to protect themselves, there's nothing they can do no matter how much money they have. And Hollis's entire demeanor just changed. Yep. He, he, maybe he wasn't going to res that piece of ice, but at you're this looking point, at fresh right, cards right. now. 
There's that wizard ability. Yeah, and Doing daily business work. show. Got to pay it. Pay it. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is a wizard turn all, if I've ever seen it. All of the assets. All of your assets and upgrades are in the bin. All your assets are belong to me. Yes. So now let's see how Hollis reacts to this. He went from 3-0 in a good board position to pretty under the gun almost almost immediately. That pup is looking back at Hollis like, what do you expect me to do about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only one man. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem is what do you res at this point? I mean, you can't, if you commit more ice, you've got clone ship parasite, and you've got every time he runs, he charges up three data sucker counters. I don't know that there's a piece of ice in Hollis's deck that's going to hold up. Well, now this is the problem, right? So now he's purged. So now Wynn only has a zero strength and a four strength diamond. He can get through the Lotus Field very quickly, but Hollis has some new piece of ice over Archives. And if I'm Hollis, it's going to be something that's not four or two or zero yeah. strength. Um, what is in his deck here? Um, obviously, it could be like a Sarugi. It could be another Toll Booth. Um, Crick, maybe. Although I'm more interested in keeping him out to keep those Data Suckers gone. So I don't know that Crick is down yeah, there. I think Sarugi would be the best card he could play there to just punish him. Uh, but even then, I think you'd have to just let it be and end the run. Or you could just race. I mean, I, th I think that's a totally reasonable plan. I mean, if Hollis has three agendas in his hand, two or three, then, I mean, he can kind of be a little more uh, a little more dependent on his R&D to save him. We haven't gotten a good shot of his hand. Mostly because I'm so interested in the board, I haven't actually been checking. Yeah, I mean, here, I feel like you run R&D, you see what he reses, uh, and then the reality of it is, I mean, he, Hollis is only 18. You can challenge that remote. I mean, his money is going to go away fast if, he start, if he's got, you know, a Sarugi, Sarugi, Toll Sarugi's, Booth. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that money for RP will evaporate if you get aggressive, he's and that's the only way to do it. First. Oh, that archives yeah. is not It's not going to keep him out. Oh, no. That is not going to keep him out. One Four credits, to three on Cotty. It's costing all of one, yeah, to get in there. Three. Because he's got the, the cyber feeders. He's not even spending real money. Oh, yeah. Wow. I did not even think about that. So, yeah, you're going to see. Uh, I don't know what ice he's got, but Hollis is probably going to take a money drain. Yeah, this is rough. Pays one with Ottman. Keep going on through and. Oh, wow, he lets him in. Let him oh, okay. Ash. And now this is the thing about Wizard. those recurring uh, credits is they're still not wow. real credits. Can't steal it, though. But he got rid of the Ash. And yeah. Really, that's not a not a bad use of a turn. And still, you've got Data Sucker. I mean, uh, I think now you've got to focus back on R&D. I mean, let him score the NAPD, but you got to hit R&D. That's, that's where, you know, you... you you set your plan. The minute you installed that medium, you said, this is my server, and I think he's got to get aggressive with it. And when he did, he is he is going to own that server in a second. That is his. Let's, I'm trying to check Hollis's hand here and see. I see three pieces of ice, um, and one of them goes over R&D. Well placed. Yep. And he's not scoring out the NAPD right now, so I wonder if Wynn's going to take another turn of just um, – yeah, take We're Armitage. Just on Cotty and or yeah. some money. At this point, you've got to make him res ice and know that, I mean, with Ottman Data Sucker support, chances are there's not a whole lot of ice that you can't deal with. I mean, he still has a clone chip on the board. Yeah. So even if that is something like a Sarugi, um, he can still destroy it the first time he lays eyes on it. All right, so we can see Hollis's hand. Nothing we see that grid. can be stolen. We see interns and what looks like celebrity gift. And the tough part for Hollis is he probably doesn't care about it, anything in his hand, but at the same point, if he doesn't res anything, then he gives him just another set of data sucker counters and a free or a free uh, server to just bounce off. But of. at this point, Hollis is at 11 credits. You can't really give him. You can't really waste yeah. that much on the ice. Oh, he might also want to keep his Caprice alive there. Wizard doing work. You don't have money to waste. Chrissium, do you really yeah. care about Chrissium at this point? I don't yeah. know. 
I mean, he has two or three different servers that are vulnerable, so he's not worried about him locking off data suckers on one of his servers. Is he going to put it on, do you think Hollis cares enough to try it on R&D? And I mean, I, I just don't know with Wizard's ability if it's really worth even investing into. Hollis is giving up the NAPD, which doesn't really get win any closer yeah. to victory, but at least it uh, deters Hollis. Well, I guess a two-pointer will do it for him now, too, instead of Future Perfect. Yeah, this remote, I know, I think I saw an interns in Hollis's hand, but this, uh, I mean, what are you going to put in there? This that remote's Caprice, rough. Maybe? Hollis getting back into real money again. Yep. And Wen's got the, the I've had worse in hand, and that makes the face checking that much safer. I mean, I love this card of you go against an RP, and if you face check something that's bad, I mean, you basically draw up your whole hand back. Uh, it's like you, you didn't lose any tempo as long as you don't have any key cards in your hand that you lose. There we go. Puts Caprice back in the quote-unquote scoring server. I think I think there was a toll booth. Did we see a glimpse of that? Mm. It looked like a toll booth. Although I would think if it was, he would have rested earlier. So. Yeah, and I'm curious uh, how patient Wen is going to be. Because, I mean, I think he wants to, in theory, set up for the one big yeah. turn where he can run R&D three times because he is wizard, because he can, you know, get rid of those unwanted assets. As opposed to hitting it and then waiting a couple turns, hitting it again, waiting a couple turns, hitting it again. I think he needs that one now, is big this worth turn. A, uh, is this worth a parasite here? I don't think so. Oh, I mean, mimic, it's okay. not your... There you go. I was going to say, it's not the, the server of focus, so I don't really have a problem with him keeping no, that. I like this. And the Eli. So HQ may be fairly safe. Because he's looking at, what, four credits plus a couple of clicks? Because right now it doesn't look like... Yeah. Oh, well, no, he has uh, admin, sorry. I was looking for a barrier breaker. Nothing. I feel like he wants to go choke out these assets. I mean, you know, look at Hollis's credit count. He's down to eight. If you let him have the sundew, you let him have the mental health clinic, he starts to claw back in as replicating does. we got some off-camera stuff being rezzed. Oh, it was a Jackson. Okay. Hollis just said I'll click yep. the draw two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of like trashing that Sundew last turn. Uh, it's just one of those cards that if you just claw it, it lets you claw back into the game in a way, especially with the wizard ID. I mean, you want to get as much value as possible, and that seems like unprotected Sundew and mental health clinic are just prime go. targets. Our man Ben looking out for us, making sure we can see everything that's going on. And I assume that that's another server. Hmm. Now we're at that point in the RP game right where it starts to swing. Yeah. The difference is that Wynn has the advantage and he is set up for that inevitable long game. I, 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 it's going to be tough for Hollis to pull this one out. I'm interested that he's focusing on HQ. Well, I, I, it kind of makes sense to me, right? Because Hollis has to get two agendas to push through his hand and onto the board. Yeah. Whereas Wynn only needs to pick off one. So if he keeps on it, his odds of hitting one before Hollis can push two in and out is uh, are, are pretty solid. More to his point, there's only one ice on HQ, whereas there are three on R&D. Regardless of what they are, their RP, they're going to be taxing. Mm. It does give him a server to uh, safely bounce off of, or a central server at least. Yeah, I mean, nothing else he can hit that, yeah. bounce and go somewhere else. Uh, the other thing is that Hollis knows his remote is not particularly safe. Yeah. So Hollis, if he draws an agenda, cannot immediately put on the board. It's going to have to sit there for a second until he can figure out how to control HQ and, and the remote. Yeah, and that's part of the reason I want to go trash this Sundew is because if that's a Caprice down in the remote, I mean, you get to a point where if it Hollis is. isn't producing passive income, I mean, you can just, it's only costing a credit to get in with Ottman, and you can just kind of choke out Caprice and make Hollis spend money every turn. Yeah. Everything I know about Wizard is screaming inside right now. So many assets all, on the board. Look at the all assets. these three trash cost or less cards. This is heresy. 
And it's not like it's even taxing. Just just hit HQ, just draw a card, and then go do it. Just point at the server and Another run parasite. There. Okay. So I'm going to Eli. I'm going to run, I guess, and just, yeah, use those data sucker counters on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fine. The old if you want to destroy Eli. that, Eli, I'll get this one. But he says, fine. Eli cost me two. I have admin. What do I care? Yeah, and that's the problem. I mean, three data suckers on the board. It's just one run, and he's charged back up to kill the next piece of ice. Loving this wizard deck. There you go. Yay. Okay, Randall. You, you, you can feel better about uh, I do. the wizard has been used. All of that money. I, I still would rather trash the one that is making so money. money, but... Yeah, because you see, I mean, Hollis is starting to kind of claw back into this from a money count. Back up 14. But I think Wynn is going, I don't care if you have money. Keep yeah. rising ice. I'll keep destroying it. Whatever. Yeah, I think he just put the uh, fetal AI is. down. Oh, is he playing uh, Pacers 8? He's not. Eight uh, but he is subbed out, I think, one of the future perfects. He's playing two future perfects, one fetal. Oh, wow. That's, that so that is still, a, a still weird Still nine choice. agendas. Doesn't pull it. And Hollis is going to relax. Oh, Susano. There he is. Look at all this Atlanta meta that's influenced him. It's back. Pacers Fetal and Ahmed Susano. Now this is exactly where, you know, credits matter. If you would have trashed the Sundew before and Hollis didn't have two at the beginning of the turn, yeah, be done. he's left with one, and you know, you know, you got a better shot of what to bid. Well, it is what it is. Either way, I mean, I'm bidding zero here because if you bid anything, yeah. I can run again. Like, I don't remember what click number says. I want to say it's maybe three. Yeah, I like that have play. a second run at it. Two. Allowing Hollis to bid zero. Mm. It's tough. He's going to run it again, yep. But this time he's no closer to getting in than last time. Yeah, and to your point, Randall, I mean, this is why you bid zero is it makes the second bid that much easier. Yep. I'm feeling a one here from Hollis. Oh, oh wow. Okay, there we go. No shake. He doesn't even reveal what the agenda was. He was just like, eh, it's an agenda. It's clearly. Good, Good game. Good job, win. Wizard doing its thing. Well, With not really its thing. It's doing a thing. Yeah, it is doing a thing. Trashing the assets, trashing the upgrades. So fun game. Getting to see a different idea on stream.